In this video, we're going to be using Straight Gold Shave Grant and the Blackland Razors Vector. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And before we get too far in the video today, I want everyone to give the Chalmers family uh, thought, a prayer, good vibes. Sammy, also known as Shave Girl, has fallen ill. She's been in the hospital. She is recovering, and I will link uh, John Shaves 101 video below where he talks about it. But please, if you could, go over to John, send him a kind word, uh, send Shave Girl, Sammy, a kind word. We would really appreciate that. Okay, on to the shave today. It is Friday. Happy Friday. We've made it. <laughs> and today we're going to be using a sample. This is, I'll try to show you the full label right there if I can find the uh, a full a full shot of the label anyway. This is Strike Gold Shave Grant. And this was a sample that was sent to me by the razor company. And I did an unboxing with this the other day and I was like, I don't know what this is, but it smells good. <laughs> and it really does. And subsequent to that unboxing, I reached out to Jason at the razor company. And this is a really awesome scent. It is a mix of Creed Aventus and Baccarat Rouge. Uh, so two fine fragrances mixed. And that might not sound good, but it smells great <laughs> to me. It's like, it's bright, it's uplifting. Um, I can't really describe it other than to say it's awesome. You can look up Creative Ventus, the notes for that, and look up uh, Baccarat Rouge, and then you can see all the notes there. It's a really, really nice scent. Scent strength is about right at medium. I really like the way this has come together. So fans of Aventus and Baccarat Rouge, you very, um, you very well may like this when it comes out. I don't know what the price is. I don't know the ingredients, anything like that. I was just sent the sample. So we're going to press forward and shave with it today. It does smell great, though. I like the scent a lot. I think this is going, probably going to be a popular scent with many, uh, or at least I like it for whatever <laughs> that is worth. The razor for today is my favorite uh, Artist Club style razor. Probably my favorite single edge razor, period. The Blackland Razors Vector with that very slim head. This is made here in the United States of 303 stainless steel. It is a premium razor, runs about 200 bucks, but I love it and it's my favorite single edge razor. Um, I just love it. Blackland lists the aggression at five out of 10. I find it more like 6.5 out of 10, very efficient. It uses Artist Club style blades, which are thin that way and then long this way. And uh, I just really enjoy using this razor a lot. It's, it's just one of my absolute favorites. Can't say enough good things about it. All right. We have uh, almost 24 hours of growth there. You can see the salt and we'll miss the face. And remember, I'll put the links to the products that are available below for your convenience. And we're looking forward to a great shave on this Friday. And I do want to make a few other announcements. Oh, by the way, it's Badger Week at BBS Live. And so I will tr try to remember to hashtag that. So we're using our Savile Row. I believe this is 3328. This was a gift to me from Scott Leslie, the Peaceful Shaver. Thank you, Scott. And there we have our lather. And this lather has been sitting a little bit because I was waiting on my wife to, to uh, get up, but I think we'll be okay all the same. Strike Gold Shave makes a good quality soap in terms of the base, so I don't think we're going to have any problems with it today. And it is Badger Week, and I figured I would get in at least one Badger to support those guys at uh, BBS Live. All right. Anyway, what I was going to tell you folks was, get ready to go on vacation once again to the outer, outer banks of North Carolina, which I went last year and it was terrible weather. And looking at the forecast so far, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> so I'm hoping this week has been beautiful, but we're going to arrive on Saturday and the it looks rainy. It looks, it, it's sort of hit or miss. It looks like by the uh, forecast. So hopefully we'll get some sunshine or a lot of sunshine. That's what you go to the beach for. You know, it's what I go to the beach for. Get sunshine and not all that rain, but uh, you know, no one can control the weather. So we just have to make the best of it. But anyway, the reason I mentioned that, of course, I'll be doing some content and I have some content prepared, but it might take me longer to, than normal to get back to you if you make a comment. So just, just keep in mind, I'm not ignoring you. I try to be very responsive on my channel as much as I can, but there are times where I'll be busier and this week will be one of those weeks. And additionally, for the content creators out there that I'm supporting daily and watching your content, 
I will probably not see a lot of your videos. I just won't have time. I'll try to fit in somewhere time permits, but um, I will not have a ton of time. Anyway, looks like we've got a good lather here. You can see those peaks sort of hanging off. The lather for me with Badger never spreads the way it does for um, synthetics because I think it's because of the diameter of the uh, bristles. So it doesn't spread out, quite, it doesn't paint quite as easily and smoothly for me, but it's still more than adequate. So I'm not gonna have any problems. And uh, I do love the softness of the Savile Row um, brush. Of course, the stallion has been talking about it for years, how soft it is, and he's right. Really, really soft. Um, very nice. I have enjoyed using the Savile Row for sure. Okay, let's, let's get into it today. Let's get into our shave and just have a great time and a great Friday. And for me, these shaves just start out my week in wonderful fashion. And the blade in here, by the way, is um, Artist Club Professional Blade, for those of you who wonder. And I really love this razor. And I remind you, if you haven't seen the interview we did with Blackland on Real Talk, uh, I'll pop it up in one of the corners there for you. It's very, very interesting, uh, I think. He had some, you know, really interesting thoughts about the the... The Yachi uh, razor that was, you know, this clearly inspired the Yachi. Also, for those who don't know, even the name they gave the razor, they called it the uh, roster. And the Vector, by the way, I had a uh, viewer who told me Vector and roster um, were terms related to old television technology. But also, in addition to that... Uh, vector and roster are types of uh, graphics, like different types of graphics, and you know you can Google that. So when we say the the vector inspired the roster, I don't think there's any question. Even the name, the roster, even used a name that was very much related to the vector. So it it was sort of inspired or copy all the way around. <laughs> even the name, which that part of it to me is like, come on, Yachi, you know, but. That said, the uh, the roster shaves well. It's uh, inexpensive. And for many people, you know, that's what they're looking for. They're looking to get a, a razor, a workhorse razor that shaves well, that um, does a great job. And I used it twice and it, had, it did shave well on both occasions. And I will never tell you that you need to buy anything. Like you need to buy it. Being a hobbyist, you know, we like to try a lot of different things. There's a difference in, and maybe I'll do a Sofa Sessions video on this. There's a difference between um, uh, utilitarian use of products and hobbyist use. Where you're, when you're pursuing a hobby, you're doing it for enjoyment. You're trying to get the most out of it. And for ut utilitarian purposes, honestly, you can use about almost... Any soap that's reputable today and get a really good shave. Any um, any razor that's reputable today and get a great shave. I will never tell you you need to buy something, buy products X or Y to get a great shave. Because you can buy a uh, Merker 34C or an, you know, Perazzo Green or virtually any reputable soap. And that's all you need to buy. That's all you need to buy. You can shave with that and get great shaves. I shaved for a couple of years, or not a couple of years, but probably the better part of the year, I didn't buy a single um, traditional shaving product. And I used a lot of Maca Root, which is a cream you can get on Amazon. Very good cream, I love it. Um, I used Maca Root. I would use the Harry's Razor, you know, Merker 34C, uh, and I got perfectly perfectly good shaves during that period of time. Great shaves, in fact. Um, but at that time, I wasn't really pursuing as a hobbyist to try to achieve maximum enjoyment. It, I was shaving in a utilitarian sort of way. Let's shave and get it out of the way sort of thing. And uh, during that time, it hit the mark, you know. But as a hobbyist and as someone who's pursuing maximum enjoyment, this variety of products that we can use of all expenses from premium to as cheap as you can get. I've done a $4 total 
shave before and, um, with brush, blades, aftershave, pre-shave, $4 total, you know, and I got a great shave. <laughs> it wasn't quite as enjoyable maybe as some of the other shaves, but from a util utilitarian perspective, you can get a great shave really inexpensively. But as a hobbyist, you know, we like to pursue different things and to pursue different scents. And part of the enjoyment um, and what brings a smile to my face is like today, the scent on this soap is just fabulous. I love it. And I can't wait to get in here, you know, as a hobbyist. Now, when I was shaving in that utilitarian sort of fashion, I was just like, okay, let's get it in there. Let's get in there and get it, uh, get it over with. And also during that period of time also, it was a transitional period of my life where things were happening, not all positive, and I was going through a rough time. So I didn't really feel like, um, you know, having maximum cheer, uh, because honestly, that's what not what I was feeling at that time. And so in the hobby, I wasn't enjoying it in that fashion either. And look at that lather. That's it's good stuff. I could probably use a little hydration, but no big deal. Anyway, the point I'm making here today is I don't want anybody to be led. I don't want to be very clear about this. And again, I'll, I'll break this out in more granular fa fashion, perhaps in a sofa session, make, makes a perfect topic. But I, I'm never telling you that you need to buy something expensive, nor something budget, nor anything for that matter. You do not need to, to buy anything uh, in particular other than a good reputable product to get a great shave. And I'll never say otherwise. Um, you, cause you can get a great shave with, I can bring Arco in here, cost a dollar for a stick or something like that. And I like it. I like it. But on the other hand, I've used Arco many, many times over the years. Just got a standard, uh, lemon citronella type of scent. Do I enjoy that shave as much as this one? No, no, I don't. And hobbies are about enjoyment. And so you have to pursue the hobby in the way that you enjoy it. And for some people... That's minimalistic, like they don't want to have a bunch of things. They just want to have a core group of things that they really, really enjoy. And maybe there's a premium piece in there, maybe not. That's okay. But also, if you want to try lots of different things, that's okay too. So just pursue it the way that you see fit and enjoy yourself. That's the key. And today we're enjoying our shave on uh, our Friday. And I hope you're... Uh, I hope you're I hope you're enjoying this one with me. So let's get back on track with the actual shave here. Um I really, really like the <laughs> the uh the vector. I th I think it's just a fantastic shaver. It's got really good efficiency. The head is nimble. Um it's very, very small and thin, and it just feels so precise in your hands. And it gives you that feeling just when you when you feel it. It's just very enjoyable. Now, also, I like razors like the uh, Razor Rock Hawk, which is, it is an all stainless razor. It costs you about 70 bucks. You can't beat that price. And it shaves really, really well also. And I like that one as well. But this one for me gives me more satisfaction and enjoyment. The Hawk, though, I like as well. I still have it. I will still use it because I do like it. But if I had to choose between the two, it would be this one. I just love that slim head. I love the efficiency the razor has. I love the way it feels in my hand and um, sort of there's blade feel to it that's very nice. Now, the Hawk does have different plates and I only have the standard plate. So if you've got a more efficient plate with the Hawk, you might, you know, up that efficiency a little bit and you might enjoy that. But um, this one is my favorite. And there's just something about it. And it's much like a, uh, it's kind of like when you have um, knives. I have lots of different knives at different costs. Um, and I have some very inexpensive knives that are like a Kershaw, for example. They make really, uh, Kershaw makes inexpensive knives that work really, really well. And sometimes you can get them under 20 bucks. And they're really, really good knives. But if you hold a Kershaw, for example, one of the inexpensive ones, because Kershaw does make, you know, knives of various cost. So, if, but if you if you hold one of those really 
uh, inexpensive Kershaw's. And then you get your hands on something like a Chris Reeve Sabenza or maybe a, a bench made, you know, high quality knife. You'll be able to tell the difference in your hands, the way they feel, the way the, the knife is made, the attention to detail, so on. It's uh, it just the experience in carrying or using one's a little bit different. And it's the same with these um, razors. Um, with some, you might, and it really depends on the individual, you might get a little additional enjoyment out of something that's a little more refined. And you'll notice that with, like some people, whether you're buying a, a grill even for grilling, you, you could just put a some cinder blocks around or some stones and throw a grate over it and grill. But some people want to buy a Traeger or Weber or, you know, one of those other ones. I can't think of the name of it because they, they just like it and they get more enjoyment of it, out of it. And so that's sort of the way it is with these razors too. You know, that's sort of the difference. But the main thing I want to hammer home is um, what's most important is that your personal enjoyment and you should purchase whatever you enjoy purchasing or purchase nothing at all. It's completely up to you. I'm not, as I always say, I'm not asking you to buy anything. Um, I will link them for you. I will tell you about them. It's up to you. It's up to you to buy whatever fits your budget and whatever you enjoy the most. And I'm not going to criticize you uh, for using, you know, budget gear or using premium gear or anything like that. So just to make those points clear. And I know a gentleman was asking me the other day why I cover these topics. It's because it comes up all the time in the comments. You might not see it, but it does. And so I try to make that clear because I don't want anybody to think that then I'm up here saying, you need this, you need that. Otherwise you can't get a good shake because that is just patently false. You can get out your least expensive razor today as long as it's in uh, work, good working condition. And uh, if you execute your shave properly in a way that works best for your skin, you'll get a great shave out of it. You know, like I said, I've done a $4 total shave. <laughs> <laughs> so it can be done but this one today is really enjoyable and uh, the straight gold sh the straight gold shave soap is quite good it's kind of underrated i think but uh it's a really good soap in my opinion and i love this scent it's a really good scent and i apologize for going a little bit long today i'll try to make the post very short so we can uh not keep you very long, but do remember, it'll probably take me a little longer. I'll, I'll have one more shave that I'll do before I leave for the trip, because this is Thursday. Um, but when you see it, it'll be Friday, so happy Friday. I'll do one more shave uh, Friday morning that will air Saturday morning, and I'll mention it again, that uh, I might not be able to catch your videos for a week or so. So please don't think I've given up on you because I have not. I enjoy watching your videos and it'll take me a little bit longer to respond to comments. So we'll still be doing some content though because I enjoy it. It's that simple. All right. Let me rinse and we'll come back and do a quick post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and we're going to cut straight to the aftershave today. Of course, we used our alum and then Thayer's off cam and dried off with our Lancaster. We're gonna use Spartacus today, which smells sort of like Creed Aventus. We use the Straight Gold Shave Grant today, which has not released yet. But keep your eye out on the Razor Company and Straight Gold Shave because it smells really, really nice. I enjoyed it a lot. And of course, you know, I enjoyed the Vector. Blackland Razor's Vector, terrific single edge razor. I really love it. And for Badger Week, we used the Savile Row. Thank you again, Scott Le Leslie for the gift. And of course, we used our Captain's Choice Bowl. Thanks to all of you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.